You know what it is, baby? No, it's been way too long. Get here as fast as you can. <laughs> All right. Woo! 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 Diana in town? Yep. <laughs> Recognize the wiggle. <laughs> oh, God, not Diana. <laughs> yep. She just called from the cab. She's on her way here. Woo! OK, everyone, I need to get your production reports by, ah, make it stop, make it stop. It's not gonna, not as long as Diana's around. Who's Diana? Oh, just this blues singer who's good for a quick pop whenever she's in town. Hey, hey, don't talk about her like that. We've been together for three years. Uh, Milo, to be fair, if you count the days actually spent together, we're really talking more like five and a half weeks. <laughs> Either way, it's my longest relationship. <laughs> He's right. Sporadic, limited monogamy is one of his many gifts. <laughs> that is not a relationship, Milo. Once every three months to get your oil change, that's Jiffy Lou. <laughs> Look, you haven't seen Diana and I together, and since you're my boss, it would be inappropriate for me to show you the tapes. <laughs> I'm telling you, what we have is plenty real. Oh, yeah? Have you spent a major holiday with her parents? Have you held her purse while she tried on jeans? Have you seen her pee? <laughs> <laughs> seen her what? <laughs> You're not in a truly intimate relationship with a woman until she feels comfortable enough to pee in front of you. Like right in front of me? <laughs> yes. I am seriously involved with a group of female hemp activists that I met at a dead show. <laughs> you let guys watch you pee? It's not a performance, Milo. It's about emotional intimacy. Wow. No wonder you're alone. <laughs> See, one day you're gonna wake up and realize that relationships are about hot, sweaty circus sex and a big plate of hash browns afterwards. Do I? Yeah. It's great scatting with you again, Diane. Oh, anytime. Oh. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey. Fake hair, fake nails, fake boobs, fake relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't she great? I am so ready for tonight. I even stopped by that hippie store and bought some of those candles you like. You are so sweet. See this one? This is for spiritual oneness. Mm. This one is for endurance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this one here is for fertility. <laughs> like I'm avoiding adulthood. Someone said that? To you? Jennifer said if I didn't get a real bed, she wouldn't sleep over anymore. You still have that ratty old futon? <laughs> oh, not that I hate. Whoa. Just my coat on at a party, OK? It's not oh, not that I wouldn't sleep. I mean, you're a peach, but I'm married, and it's uh, um, I'm gonna go work on this script. <laughs> Sam, a futon. Oh, come on. What's a big rush to own a bed? A futon's the natural Japanese way to sleep. Well, I, it's fine if you don't mind asking girls to come home and go to floor with you. Yeah, but don't you see? I mean, if I give in and buy a bed, then the next thing you know, she want me to buy a shower curtain. I mean, where's it gonna end? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. How was your big weekend with Diana? Mm -hmm. Sam? This is a place of business. I have no time for shilly-shallying around. Oh, come on. At least tell me if the candles work. Did you, uh, did you experience oneness? In a way. But I really don't want to talk about it. What do you mean? You always want to talk about it. You did it on the elevator. You did it on the balcony. You were a jockey. She was a civil rights activist. <laughs> we didn't do it at all, okay? Oh, man. So, so when you said you had oneness, you meant... Oh, man. <laughs> She's getting married, Sam. Can you believe that? Who? Oh, no, not Dirty Diana. Another few days and you would have made it to the big six weeks. Now, which anniversary is that? Particle board? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Who, who's she marrying? Some guy named Momo. He runs a club in Atlanta called Momo's. Wow. What are the chances of that? <laughs> 
Looks like you're gonna have to find someone else to have a real relationship with. Will you stop saying that? It was real to me. Why wasn't it real to anybody else? Oh, it was quite real to me. When I went to fetch some twine from the supply closet, and you two were playing stock boy in the environmental lobbyist. <laughs> you must pass the bill. But I'm just a lowly stock boy. Leon, I'm in motion. <laughs> Look, buddy, I, I just want to let you know that I'm here for you. I got a big bottle of cheap tequila and game day 98 for the PlayStation. Let's make an evening of it. Come on. Sam, I am serious. What if, what if this girl is the one? Her? Our lady of the previously owned hair extensions? Well, she could be. I mean, what if I'm letting the best thing that ever happened to me walk out the door and marry some Momo? Oh, honey, if she was the one, you would know. I mean, I knew Juan Carlos was the one in about 11 seconds. Really? Oh, yeah. When a tall, handsome Argentinian man walks up to you in a crowded room and whispers, I want to lick you from head to toe until you're old, uh, you'll know. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning, Jack. So you're all coming to my charity event on Sunday night, right? I promised I'd bring a culturally diverse group. We'll be there. You're Asian, right? <laughs> sure. Good, that's what I told you. Uh, Jack. Uh, how did you know your wife was the one? See, that's the problem with the one. Sometimes there's another one, and you have to divorce the first one to be with the one that's the better one. <laughs> Can I help? Uh, I, I think so. Good. I like when I do that. <laughs> Golfers for a free Tibet? I mean, what kind of charity is that? Are they going to storm over there and beat the Chinese at pitch and putt? <laughs> Good night, Chang. I can't believe the Dalai Lama just took my place in Jack's limo. <laughs> Boot up compassion my ass. <laughs> you know I was going to have to ride in your little penis mobile with these funky, uncomfortable seats. <laughs> hey, 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 what are you complaining about? I'm the guy who's bent in half back here. I'm not going to be at my best when I have to pretend to enjoy mattress shopping with Jennifer tomorrow. I just want to be home, out of these shoes, and not now entering Indiana. Milo, why are we now entering Indiana? Oh, you guys are still in the car? <laughs> I thought I dropped you off already. Uh, no, I believe we're still here. Well, then you're going to have to come with me. Come with you where? Atlanta, I got a wedding to stop. What? <laughs> we are not going to Atlanta, and we are not going to a wedding. No, it's okay. We're dressed for it. <laughs> uh, uh, did I mention that tomorrow is the semi-annual box springs for a penny sale? Milo, please, turn this car around right now. No time. The wedding's tomorrow morning. We have 12 hours to make a 680-mile drive, but that's what a Porsche engine is for. Did I mention that I'm sitting on the Porsche engine? Okay, look. Now, now, Milo, I know you're upset about Diana, but you're just gonna have to wake up and realize that she was just a flame. So get over it and let's get back to Chicago because I can only wear these pantyhose for so long before I just get plain meat. Well, then take them off because we're not going back. And you're mean enough already. Uh, did I mention that I'm sitting on a hot Porsche engine? <laughs> this woman is about to walk down my aisle with someone. If you think you're just gonna dance on in there and take his place, you out your damn mind. What are those, control top? <laughs> Turn this car around. Look at you, Robin Buckley. You're jealous. You just can't stand the thought of me being happy. Milo, this has nothing to do with you being happy. You just want your toy back. You only want what you can't have. That is not true. I also want what I can't have. <laughs> Do you guys smell something burning? I think, I think, I think my pants are on fire. Oh, man. Oh, man. Last time I sat in a car this small for this many hours was when I was in ninth grade and my older sister and one of our sorority friends borrowed me for a scavenger hunt. <laughs> they needed a virgin. You do have some idea what you're gonna do when you get there, don't you? That is, assuming that Momo isn't as large as he sounds. Well, of, of course I do. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk in there, I'm gonna tell Diana how I feel, I'm gonna pile her in the car, and I'm gonna drive her back to her new home in Miloville. <laughs> and you're gonna what? Tie me to the roof? <laughs> Wait a minute. Just like that, you're gonna settle down and move in together? Maybe. Is that so hard to believe? A little. 
All right, all right, all right. I, I, you know, I am fed up. I, I, am, I am tired of women underestimating men. Yeah, you stop that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not ready to commit. We're, we're not adult enough. We, we don't separate the whites from the colors. <laughs> Laundry. Not, not like schools and stuff. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm the one in the back seat. <laughs> So you really think you're ready for this kind of commitment? When last week all you could talk about was hot and sweaty? Well, I mean, at first I thought I only wanted her for the sex, but now I realize I want her for more than the sex. And the sex. <laughs> wow. You really have grown. Hey, look, if she's ready for something more, then I'm ready to be that something more guy. I say be the something more guy. I, I, I say men are more complicated than women think. We, we have levels. Maybe we don't want to sleep more than 12 inches off the ground. Maybe we like playing in our stupid van. And when we decide to take a last minute road trip in the middle of the night through the middle of nowhere to rescue some girl from marrying some guy named Momo, we might just know what the hell we're doing. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> a good idea to leave the car on the highway. Better push it to a gas station, because there's no way it could be 8.6 miles away. <laughs> shut up and shut up. The woman I love is about to say I do to another man in six hours. Now help me find a cab. Uh, I'm no expert on the backwoods of Kentucky, but I'm being willing to bet my left kidney that there's no cabs anywhere close to Willard's Gas and Ammo. Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Ha has the emergency brake been on this whole time? <laughs> oh, man, it can't be good for the car. Damn. The mechanic isn't going to be in until 8. But there is a cell on mud flaps to say, if you can read this, I can shoot you. Oh, my God. We're not going to make it. What are we going to do? We are going to sit here, and we are going to wait like civilized human beings until Clem or Jeff or whoever in the hell shows up to fix this thing. Hey, 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 hey. And first of all, no Clem or no Jethro is going to fix this thing. This is a Porsche. We need more like a Hans or a Heinrich. And there isn't a Heinrich within 300 miles of here. Let's hope. My love, calm down. Now, maybe we can fix this thing ourselves. Pop the hood. OK. Come on, Milo, pop the hood. Hold on, I can't get the glove box open to find the manual. <laughs> We're screwed. <laughs> oh, God. What? Maybe they can help. Hey, maybe they can take me to Atlanta. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! hey. Do, no, no, do not, do hey. not provoke them. Two black people and a Jew in formal wear in the middle of Kentucky? <laughs> Unless you two are Peaches and Herb and I'm your manager, we are in big trouble. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Damn. Milo, you left her 17 messages already. And I don't think the minister appreciated the wake-up call. Hey, the sun is up. His ass should be, too. If it's not meant to be, Milo, it is not meant to be. Now, the car broke down for a reason. The universe has a way of taking care of these things. Hey, look. Well, the universe sent us a man with his name on his shirt. Hey! Hey, you the mechanic? Yep. You're late. Well, I'm sorry about that. I had to yank a damn internet out of the house. 13-year-old got too big into the porn. D do you know how to fix one of these? Oh, yeah. Ain't nothing but a Volkswagen with a pretty hat. That's great, hey, that's great, because I have a wedding to stop. Well, here's your problem right here. You got a tennis racket in here where your engine's supposed to be. My man, the engine is in the back. Relax there, Mr. Bond. I'm just funning with you. Yeah, well, I ain't got no time for funning. We got someplace else to be. And, and for, like, Milo, oh, I'm not... Milo, Milo, Milo. I'll handle this, OK? Scoop. Sam, it's 10 o'clock. She's probably putting on her big white dress right now. Breathe, breathe. And Momo's probably putting on his pants. 
Focus on the positive. Momo can't find his pants. All right. Everything's taken care of. Willard says he can have us out of here in half an hour. He's actually not that bad a guy. Loves Wu-Tang Clan. Oh, this is great. <laughs> then that means that we can still make it. I mean, what is it? It's 10.02, so if I average 150 miles an hour, uh -oh. we can... What? Um, try not to remember that I I'm the one who told you this, but, um... I just realized our watches are on Chicago time, but the wedding's happening on Atlanta time, which means it's already an hour later where we are right now, and the wedding's already started. Marshmallow peep? <laughs> it's too late. I let it get away, guys. Can't believe I let the best thing that ever could have happened to me not happen to me. I'm um, sorry, man. Excuse me, but I don't need your pity. Well, I'm sorry, Milo, but you've got it. I don't know what else to feel right now. I mean, look at you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Shotgun! <laughs> Did I not call shotgun? In what universe is this shotgun? Look, Milo, I, I should apologize. I, I was wrong before. Yes, you were. I judged too quickly. I said some things I probably shouldn't have, but I was wrong. Your car is unbelievable, man! It's fucking <laughs> 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 ah! People. People we know. People with all their teeth. You guys look awful. You didn't spend all night at one of the Dalai Lama's after parties, did you? I've heard he's quite the little transcendental hellraiser. We're fine, Jack. Just a long night. Yeah, thanks. The last time three employees spent the night together, they brought in an attorney to give us a seminar about boundaries. <laughs> Hell of a kisser. Hey, man. Hey, you, you okay? Yeah. Oh, come on, come on. Cheer up. It's, it's you know... It's like that thing you're always saying about how women are like buses, you know? It's like, you get on, and, and it's crowded, and, and, and you, gotta, you gotta pull that cord. <laughs> What's that thing you're saying about women in buses? Pardon me, sir. A message from Miss Diana. She's canceled her nuptials and is presently en route. What? She blew off the wedding and she's on her way. What's so hard? <laughs> she canceled the wedding? Man, that's great. Is it? Oh, yeah, here it comes. Faced with reality, Mr. Big Talk can't follow through. You don't know that. I don't know that. Oh, man, come on. Come on. Don't cave now. Come on. I don't know why you're surprised, Sam. It can't help but be what it is. No, no, I, I refuse to believe that. We, we can grow. We can change. We can, we can fight our inner demons and, and, and reach beyond to worlds of new possibilities, right? I don't know. That sounds hard. <laughs> Hey, there's my man. Hey, D Diana. It is so weird that you called, because as I was putting on my wedding dress, all I could think about was you. Oh, yeah? Well, listen, Diana, I, um, I... Yeah? Go on. He's going, he's going. You're gonna love this, aren't you? <laughs> so wh wh why don't we go someplace a little more private? Maybe the editing bay? The what? You know, the room with the couch and all the computers. Oh, I remember that couch. <laughs> what does she know about that couch? <laughs> you don't think he's actually gonna propose, do you? I eat off that couch. <laughs> Diana, we should talk. Does this couch fall out or anything? What? Milo, I only have a half an hour, so let's get to it. But, uh, but are we gonna... I, I, I thought you wanted to get married. Why would you think that? Well, you, you called off the thing with Momo. Right, because I don't want to get married. I want what we had, that fun thing. Don't you? Uh, yeah, well, you know, fun is great. You know, and you know Milo's always up for fun. <laughs> so let's have some. Mm. 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 Hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But not like this. Oh, right, okay. You can be the high school track star, and I will be the U.S. ambassador to France. No, 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 like, like, maybe I want something a little more, Diana. Queen of France? No, no, like, like relationship stuff, you know, like brunch and, and, and shopping. And 
I want to see you pee. <laughs> what? You know, it's a relationship thing. You know, like, if, if I'm in there brushing my teeth and you need to go, I want you to come in and take a seat. <laughs> What's going on with you? I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I think I want something different than what we had. You know, something with... Peeing. <laughs> Only when you have to. <clears throat> Baby, I have been a lot of people for you. But I'm not sure I can be that person for you. I'm sorry. It's okay. Maybe you should go. Yeah. Look, Milo. Somewhere out there is a girl who's gonna start peeing in front of you. <laughs> She's never gonna wanna stop. Uh, you just saying that. <laughs> Welling about. Look at you. Shirt out, buttons undone. You drag me halfway across the country talking about commitment. But when push comes to shove, all you really wanted was a little pushing and a shoving. <laughs> You're right. You got me all figured out. Which is why you knew I was gonna do this. <laughs> no. Nope. You're unpredictable. <laughs> Jennifer? Yeah, yeah, it's Sam. Right? Right? No, I, I, I know I didn't call. I, I couldn't call. I was in Kentucky. No, no, I'm not going to explain it. I'm a grown man. I can go to Kentucky whenever I want to. <laughs> and, 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 and you could forget about my buying a bet. Yeah, I thought about it, and I'm sticking with my futon. Yeah, yes, there are a lot better things that I can think of to spend my money on. Yes, like matching dishes. <laughs> but, but simple patterns, nothing too busy. <laughs> All right, I'll, uh, I'll meet you there. I told her. <laughs> Be strong, my brother. 